I'm Stephanie with Purdue University. I am the Health and Human Sciences and 4-H Youth Development Educator here in Fayette County. And today I have with me Zoe Robinson. Hi, I'm Zoe Robinson and I'm the Health and Human Sciences Educator from Randolph County. Today on Extension Kitchen, we are going to make with you a charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards are super cool and I'm sure you've seen some pictures of them on Pinterest or the internet or gone somewhere and thought, man, I really wish I could make one of those. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to walk you through the steps because they're super easy yep. and they can also be a super healthy way to take a snack to a party or have one at your house. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, so the first thing you need to do when you make a charcuterie board is to have your board. So Zoe has with her, mm -hmm. her very special charcuterie board. Yeah. Um, so I always like to, whenever we pick a board, it's always likes to have a story with it. So this one was made by a child who shows Angus cattle and it's near and dear to my family's heart. So that's the board I brought with me today. And Stephanie, it looks like you have a pretty unique board too. I have with me, this is my grandmother's um, serving tray, and my grandmother is no longer with us, um, but she had an entire set of china all based on this blue rooster um, pattern, and so every time I use it, it makes me smile. It makes me remember my grandmother and how special she was to all of us. Mm -hmm. So um, this is what I'm going to use to make my charcuterie board. Nice. So we're going to make these together because the greatest thing about charcuterie boards is using your creativity and your imagination. And there's really not a lot of rules about what mm -mm. goes on a charcuterie mm -hmm. board. You can kind of just go wild with it if you want and do whatever. In fact, at Christmas time, I made a hot chocolate charcuterie board and mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to get started. And when we start our charcuterie boards, um, we're going to start with our cheeses. Okay. Cheese. How should I say cheese? Yeah. <laughs> we have a variety of cheeses, so. We have some brie. Uh, we have some white cheddar cheese cubes. And some spinach artichoke gouda. Now, the rule of thumb is two cheeses and two different kinds of meats, but we, you know, we're a little extra, so we did three. Yeah, well. So I'm gonna slice up this brie here for a second. Okay. And we did, just for some food safety, we washed our hands um, with hot water and soap, or you could even wear gloves if you want to take an extra precaution. I'm gonna sprinkle some of the white cheddar cubes out here. Oh, Stephanie cuts up our brie for us. So Zoe, what's going on in, Fay or in um, Randolph County? Um, what exciting things you got going on We have there? a lot of youth mental health um, trainings coming up. We have a youth mental health first aid training for um, professionals, um, parents, guardians, whoever would like to attend. So that's happening at the beginning of May and just um, just a lot of that going on right now. I'm offering a couple one-on-one -on -one sessions just talking about what youth need for us in regards to their mental health. So it's a huge need in our community right now so we're excited to get all of those programs rolling. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do think mental health is very very important. Yes and definitely. I Finding ways to uh, address mental health and relaxing mm -hmm. creativity, creative ways to um, yeah. express yourself is always fun. For sure, yeah. So Zoe, you made a little river with your cheese cubes. Yeah, so there's different techniques that you can make with charcuterie boards, especially whenever we get to the meats. We'll show you some of those. But yeah, I just kind of made it going through my board just to get a little, just a little extra going, ooh. Made a tower. Made a tower. <laughs> See, they can be so unique in whatever you want to make it. So I think that's why I love a charcuterie board. Ooh, I'm gonna take some brie here. Towers are hard. <laughs> Just make sure we, it doesn't topple over. <laughs> so when we, um, when we talk about our meats and cheeses for our charcuterie boards and how to make them healthy, um, our my plate mm -hmm. should always be one half fruits and vegetables and then one fourth grains. Mm -hmm. And um, 
then a little bit of dairy and a little bit of um, fats and oils. So the charcuterie board here is a good way to get a little bit of dairy and then a lot of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And even, Stephanie, you got a nice assortment of cheeses and a lot of like the brie, it's a lot of lower sodium cheeses. Um, so that's super important if you, especially like around the holidays, it feels like we're always eating somewhere and eating at different households and things. So if you need to watch that, you can also purchase different cheeses like that. Yes, very much so. And while everybody needs sodium in your diet, uh, too much sodium causes high pressure. So mm -hmm. we do want to mm -hmm. be aware of how much sodium we eat every day. There's some of the Gouda if you'd like it. I'll make me another little pile over mm -hmm. here. There you go. All right, so next on here, are we ready for some meat? I think so. I think we've got All some right. good cheeses on here. Let's add some more. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got a um, selection of meats from uh, Aldi's when I went shopping. Mm -hmm. And this has pepperoni, um, salami, and then carpaccio. Mm, yummy. It smells delicious. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So obviously we're not going to eat a ton of these either because they're going to have a lot of sodium in them as well. Right. Uh, but they also are full of protein uh -huh. and some omega-3s. So yeah. good for us to eat there too. Oh yeah, definitely. So there's a lot of different ways that you can fold your meats. Um, Zoe, would you like to teach us how to make Ooh, a flour? Sure. <laughs> so if you just take it and fold your meat in half and then fold it again and just make like a little fan shape. And then once you have that stuck together, you can just start to place it on your board and then just keep doing that same technique. And you can pile them up together to make it look like a little rose or you could even, like I did with my cheese cubes, make it like a stream effect. So you can just kind of play with that and get whichever look you would like. And you can just use a variety of the meats to make your flour or your river. I'm gonna stick mine in between my brie here. Ooh, there you go. Oh yeah, that looks cute. <laughs> like little fans. Yeah. I love how the little pepper is on top of the... Yes, yeah. It makes such a cute little rose there. So pretty. And what are, do you know any other types of meats that are, you like to eat on a charcuterie board? Um, well, it's always a good choice to do pepperonis and salamis, mm -hmm, um, but you mm -hmm. can also do turkey and roast mm -hmm. beef and um, other little, just other little kinds of meats as well. Mm -hmm. Really, whatever, yeah. whatever you really like from the deli is a good option mm -hmm, to put on here because mm -hmm. after all, this is for you. Yep, yep. Make it whatever you want. And just kind of even trying new things. Um, being a little adventurous with it, try something that you've maybe never had from the deli. You could always try it, taste it at the deli counter if you'd like, just to see, yeah, maybe that'd be pretty good on my next charcuterie board I make. Yeah, like made a little pile of folded meat over there, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll just throw it there. I'm mixing my meats together. Oh yeah. Get some variety in there. They're so fun to make because sometimes people are like, oh, what's a charcuterie board? But it's like, they're just, they're so fun. You can make them so pretty and just, they're not just your basic meat and cheese tray. Right. We took the, we took the little meat tray from Aldi's and turned it into something artful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm, I think I'm good for now. Good for now? Ooh, All right. yeah. I like your little side part you did over there. <laughs> My nice. slab of meat. <laughs> so now let's add some crackers so that we have something to put our meat and cheese mm -hmm. on. So we have, you want to have yeah. the pita chips? Mm -hmm. um, so we have some pita chips there. And then I have some original wheat crackers. So mm -hmm. two different kinds of crackers to put on here. Mm -hmm. And I've, I 
I've used even some like just little slices of bread too. Mm -hmm. That's always <clears throat> a fan favorite, just especially with my nieces and nephews. They all love bread. They're like, I don't want the crackers. I'm like, <laughs> hey, you might like it. I'm gonna put them over here by my meat collection. Mm, there you go. I might snag a couple crackers from you. Of course, mm -hmm. I'll trade you because I want some pita Ooh, chips on yeah. mine. I'm gonna put these in the corners. Perfect, there we go. Looking All good. Right. They are. All right, so how about some fruits and vegetables? Yes, we need some color on here, I think. I think we do too. Yeah. Um, Let's see. What do you want to start with? I'll have some raspberries. I'm going to use the um, one of these old um, punch cups because you guys all, all have punch bowls and then you go look at them and you're missing a couple punch glasses and apparently I have a few spare punch glasses. <laughs> so um, we'll put some raspberries yeah, in there. There you go. We'll just stick them on here. Cute. Add a little bit of color and fun. I think I'm gonna put mine just directly on my board here. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah. It's adding a little color here. Perfect. Let's see. Do you want some blueberries? Oh, Ooh. we have some of these dried apricots. Ooh, yeah. I'll take some of those, definitely. Here, I'll get the blueberries out too. I love adding dry fruits too because you got the fresh and the dry. Yeah, I'm gonna put them here by my brie. Gonna throw some blueberries on there. And fresh fruits and vegetables are always really good for you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, having a variety in your diet of just colorful fruits and veggies, and you could even, I mean, especially with younger kids slipping them onto a charcuterie board. They'll be like, oh, what's this? And you say, oh, it's a some type of dried fruit. Why don't you give it a shot? And they may end up really liking it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put some of these peppers on my mm, charcuterie board. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. I think I'm going to put some tomatoes. I am not a potato, a potato, tomato eater, so Ooh, I'll pass on those. Okay. But at least you've got some veggies going on, so that's yeah. all good. Ooh, and look how pretty they are! Such bright colors adding to it. And then we said you can just get wild with it. You can just kind of do whatever. <laughs> Whoops. There we rolling. go. Okay. There we go. All right. I have some black olives here. Black olives are one of my favorite things. So I'm going like to drain some olives. water off of those. Let's see. I might do some pickles too. But I think I might borrow one of your punch glasses. Go for it. Mm. Pickle jars. Get me here. <laughs> Have you ever have you ever broken the seal with a like the tip of the knife? Just no. kind of tap it at the top I always of the like jar. Tap it on a table. <laughs> Somebody, I might need your help. <laughs> My hands are a little slippery. <laughs> you just won't do I'll trade you. Okay, yeah, here. I'll add some of these. There you go. I might put these in a Open them would, you like, would you like to put some pickles on our charcuterie board? I think so, yeah. All right. I might, I might put them in one of your little punch glasses. Perfect. That'll be cute. I might, um, I'll just grab them here. Have a little fork. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Are... Yeah, just maybe a couple more. There we go. Who knew that pickles were going to be our <laughs> challenge today? Our, yeah. Hey, we're, it's all good. We're, we're getting it. We got it through it. I have to move some things around. 
There we go. Oh, these are looking so yummy. They really are. Oof. I'm excited. Me too. I'm gonna <laughs> dive in. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best part is eating it, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Well, we have left. Um, we have some of these cheese stuffed peppers, mm -hmm. wild garlic. We can put some of those on there too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. This will be good. There, um, put in a little bit of oil. So we'll stick them down over here by our cheese. Mm -hmm. Make a spot for them somewhere. I've never had these. They look delicious. They, <laughs> they are interesting. more out here. They just add a pop of color too yeah. with that red and the white in there. And even some more cheese on there too. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then, well, I mean, it's the best part, right? The almonds. It's kind of like the filler that mm -hmm. ties the whole thing together. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little pile of almonds right here. There we go. And they're great just space fillers too. If you're like, man, I have a big hole on my charcuterie board or just even sprinkling them on top. I'm just sprinkling them around. Oh yeah. And I also, some people use like dark chocolate. Oh, that'd be a, nice. As a little chocolate in there if you want a little sweet addition. Ooh, yeah. Zoe. Your charcuterie board looks great. Well, thank you. So uh, does yours. Well, thank you. See, there, we, like you could just do your unique styles and and just put on it whatever you want. Like if you mm -hmm. don't want any almonds on yours, just mm -hmm. leave them out. Yeah. If you yeah. would, we have strawberries, but I don't have any room left on mine for strawberries. I don't think I do either. And I have green olives here. We don't have any room left for those either. Uh, well, whenever we make one again, we'll just have to keep save those. it for next time. Yeah. 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 Well. Are you ready to dive in? I think so. I think it's time to try All right, some. what are you going to try first? Oh, I think I might do some of that Gouda with one of the pita chips. Ooh, and maybe add, ooh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> some pepperoni. Ooh, yeah, that looks pretty good. That does look pretty good. I think I'm going to have to try. I'm going to have one of these red peppers stuffed with the cheese. Oh, yeah. I, I'm very interested to try those. So I'm <laughs> Pretty good work. Yeah, that is really good. Mm -hmm. Well, Zoe, thank you for joining us today. Yes, thank you for and having me. And helping everybody make charcuterie boards. Mm -hmm. When you guys make your charcuterie boards, you can email them um, to me at smmccurd at purdue.edu. I would love to see your pictures of your charcuterie boards and how creative you get with yours. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Just go find yourself a, a lovely platter. It can be anything. And just get creative making your own charcuterie board. Yeah. And just have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today on Extension Kitchen. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.